Hello, everybody, and welcome to the final show. Hard to believe of this 2015-2016 Transy basketball season. I'm Brian Milam, joined by the head coach of the Transylvania Pioneers in his, what, 14th season now, is it? Something like that, 14, 15. Yeah, it has, I lost it's, track. It's been a while, and you'll see what, what, what we mean later on in the show. It has been an up-and-down season, but it's been a season of, of great moments, of moments that we try to forget about, but we will never will. Right. And it's just been another fun, entertaining, and challenging season. It really has. It just seems like the other day we were pulling up to the White House, everybody was jumping <laughs> out, and uh, and as as we got ready for our first game up there in, in Maryland, uh, you learn so much as a team as, as you go through the season. And uh, as we started off the season with, with a few losses and, and kind of got behind the eight ball early, I really liked in the, the fact how we were able to battle back and battle through injuries and battle through uh, just some, some opportunities where, where guys took advantage of opportunities that, that they got to, to play. I mean, when you look at our team and you see that only two guys played all 25 games, I mean, that's unheard of. Yeah. That, that's, that's crazy. Um, you know, Bo Shu only 12 games, Simon Christian 12 games, Tim Bickle 13 games. Those are three of your top seven guys. And, uh, but yet we still qualify for the conference tournament, which was, which was fantastic. And we're going to see a big smile. We're going to have to get you to explain what this smile was about because I was not smiling. There was only a few <laughs> of us that were, there was only a few of us that knew what was going on. We'll tell you exactly what that is in just a moment, but you mentioned about learning about your team. What have you learned? about the guys, not necessarily Lowell Gordon and Parker Stansbury, they will be departing, right. but everybody else. Well, with, with Cooper Theobald, we knew coming in that, that he was a nice player. He and Bo Shue playing for Cuff Cat yeah. and, and playing in Rupp state tournament mm -hmm. runs and, and all that. But wow, what an what uh, impact he had on our team. Uh, scoring from the foul line led, led the conference in, in free free throws attempted over 200 it's amazing I mean we've had probably years where we didn't do it as a team <laughs> and uh, just a just hard nose and one of those guys that that we're going to be able to continue to to build just a great guy to be able to play with uh, on on the team and and then the list goes on, sure on and on so uh, I'm excited with with what those young guys have been able to learn from Lowell and from Parker. And speaking of Lowell and Parker, you will see them in their final home game coming up next. It was Senior Day last week, and we will recap that game coming up next. Thank you for staying with us this afternoon. Last weekend, Manchester came to town, and at the time, I was told by someone who will remain nameless that Transy had to win to we get did. into the tournament. We did. It was also Senior Day. And let's go to the video because Senior Day is always a fun day. Prior to the Senior Day festivities, Alex Jones being honored for his uh, 1,000 point that he scored uh, about a week earlier. And then we got to the Senior Day festivities. You went through this line uh, with a special father uh, as your coach. Right. But for Lowell and Parker, uh, always a, a, an emotional time, I'm sure. Huge props to Lowell. Came in and, and didn't play a lot. Finally got his chance as a senior and was able to just really make a huge impact on our team. Uh, Parker Stansbury, uh, all conference last year, another another great year this year. Uh, really got a lot stronger, and, and both those guys uh, will leave their, their mark on Transylvania basketball. In this game, Alex Jones played sparingly, so Parker really got a lot of shots early yeah. and often, and he, for the most part, Cooper got involved certainly, but he was the guy you went to to score early, and you right. got the early lead. Because this show goes all over the place, I haven't given all the answers. <laughs> um, we know Jones can get a shot. We know Cooper can get a shot. With Parker, we had to run a lot of plays to get him shots. Um, and, and then if those didn't, and if it didn't transpire, we could get, get the, those other guys would get some, get some looks. It's good to have Simon back again, missed half the season with, with uh, ankle injury and, and really uh, those injuries. I mean, we, we practiced with nine, 10, 11 guys, a lot of, a lot of game, uh, a lot of days during the year. And sometimes you had to play against nine or ten other guys. I'm kidding, fellas. I'm kidding, Zebras. I'm kidding. What? Why, why is his coat up? This was a really oh, good. This this, uh, this crew was, was really good. Two of the three uh, are will be doing postseason uh, postseason games. 
Yeah, Bart, we'll have another cameo from Bart here. Uh, that was not Bart a minute ago, but we'll get one. But He's a uh, Southeastern Conference official, and you're getting on, Bart. <laughs> I, I can. He doesn't. No, think he's it. really good. Tristan Burgess gets a layup right before the half, and Transy would trail at halftime, and uh, it would it had to play catch up for the uh, most of this game. After you had the early lead, second half, you made an effort to go to the basket. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that the teams do. Uh, we're able to extend the defense a little bit when we have shooters in, and that gives us more opportunities to, to drive. Manchester knew that they had to win this game uh, to get into the tournament, and, uh, and our, all of our guys did. And I thought so, uh, all, too. All of our guys <laughs> thought, thought so as well. But um, the thing I like uh, about Cooper is after he's able to make, make uh, the drives and if there's contact, he's still strong. What a, what a weird play. Behind the back, touch pass. Uh, that's why you run the floor, and they, and they were, uh, they, I mean, that's, that's the enthusiasm that, mm -hmm. that you see uh, come into the season, and, and the season is on the line. Yeah, and this game was chippy the whole way. I cut out several highlight or plays, video of both sides, where if you were a great lip reader, you wouldn't want to be seen on the show. There was a lot at stake. There was a lot at stake, and uh, Transy had to play from behind the entire second half. This is the highlight of the year. Boom. Parker stands where he told me before the game, I haven't had a dunk all year. Wrong. Well, you made up for it and <laughs> then right. some with that play, but Manchester, they were just too strong in the paint. No Tim Bickle. Robert Dents did not, have, did not play well. You just had nothing really inside, and they uh, really kind of they, they took advantage of that. Pierce with the block. It's one of and, my golfers. And then later on, this was the three. They gave Parker Stansbury his 31st point, and you take him out, and here's where we have some explaining to do. Because <laughs> Transy's getting their brains kicked in. He's wanting to cry. Season's over, and you see Brian Lane smiling, and we slow it down for you for those who didn't see it. Why were you smiling? Tell me quickly. I knew going into the game and my, my assistants and, and the trainer behind, Nick Roos, we knew that if, if we were to lose and Franklin beat Anderson, that we were in. So about 30 seconds, well, three minutes left in the game, uh, the, 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 the tone changed because I got word that Franklin was up 16 with 15 seconds. To Amazing. Go. And I, even I couldn't mess up. Six to, up 16 with 15 <laughs> seconds to go. Here's, Pioneers make it into the co conference tournament. Because of a road win, they were 5-4 and four on the road, Transy was. They tied with Anderson. Anderson and Transy split during the year, but Transy had the better road record. And you go back to one evening in Cincinnati where Boom. you beat Mount St. Yep. Joe's, who at the time was number one Mount St. Joe in Defiance, tying for the top spot, but through the uh, tiebreaker, Defiance hosting the Heartland Conference Tournament uh, this weekend and Transy does get in first page babe first look at that look at that we we have a five and four road record and of the five teams that are above us we beat three of them at their place so next year we're going to get on a bus and we're going to drive to Pikeville and we're going to drive back <laughs> and we're going to have a caravan and we're going to say boys Welcome to Lexington. It's a road game. Now let's go win. That sounds like the play to me. Maybe not all the way to Pike. <laughs> well, that's all right. It's, it's, it's only about 225 that's right, if, yeah. if you got a heavy foot. When we come back, we've got more transy basketball as we talk about the seniors from this year's team. We were just talking during the break. I said, you know, I left the Beck Center last week just you know, disappointed and the season's over. And he's over here smiling on the bench. I have no idea why. I, I get it. I write in the script that night, eh, season's over, you know, whatever. He says to me, hey, we're in the tournament. <laughs> I say, well, would be nice to let a brother know. I, you know. I did. I thought we were tired. I did. I let you know before the news. Uh, it was senior night last week, and um, Lowell Gordon, Parker Stansbury playing their final game. Last week, we heard from Parker and asked him a few questions. We did the same with Lowell Gordon earlier this week. Uh, it's been really awesome just being able to experience that step up from high school. It was just a great experience and all the things we've gotten to do here. It's been awesome. Uh, I mean, it can be frustrating, but at the same time, it's nice to know that you've got a bunch of guys around you that are really good, too, at the same time, and so it makes it real competitive and makes practices fun.
I just kind of got myself in the mindset that I was in high school, kind of just same position, same like shooter, basically the same scenario. Right. I mean, you always think about the potential of what you could do if you didn't have like the adversity, but we've been able to take advantage of the people that have stepped up and help us out, so it's been good. It's been crazy. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's just a new experience for me, especially in college, so I'm just taking it as I go. I have not. Honestly, I don't think I could wrap it up. Just all the different things that we've done and gone through, I don't think four words could wrap it up, to be honest. Oh yeah, it was very emotional. Just kind of hits you that it's the end. And it was nice being able to hear that we actually made the tournament. So it was a little bit less emotional, I guess, than it could have been, but yeah. Yeah, it could have been a lot more emotional, and uh, that emotion now translates into something positive going in to this weekend's conference tournament. Uh, last week, we talked about Parker, and it was his uh, senior day also. He has meant so much to this ball club over the last uh, four years. He has done it all defensively, rebounding, shooting, uh, a complete player. Absolutely, and uh, got stronger and stronger every year. Uh, came in and wasn't wasn't really uh, an inside player. wasn't wasn't scoring inside uh, as, nearly as strong as he did his junior and, and senior year. And, uh, just to see how he got better that, that first year he was on a very, very good team, uh, but was became a, a big time shot blocker, really good defensively, uh, emerged as a as a stronger and stronger leader as the, as the season progressed. And uh, I think it's one of those things that, that athletics gives you. Uh, the things that he's been able to learn as, as a person and, and leadership and, and all that and how, how to deal with teammates and all, all those things, uh, you don't get that unless you're, you're in, a, in a good quality program uh, like at Transylvania. And we're just uh, thrilled that, that he was able to, to follow up a, an all-conference season last year with another uh, all-conference season this year. Came a uh, really, the, the inside out action was, was really good. You see a lot of blocks. The Transylvania Pioneers, maybe for the first time since 1780, <laughs> led the conference. <laughs> when they in, were KU. <laughs> led the conference in, in block shots. And uh, a lot of that has had to do with, with Parker. Uh, we would run plays for him, but boy, if we got it to him on the block, he was very, very difficult to, to guard. The, uh, the other coaches in this league had a tremendous amount of respect uh, for Parker and, and what he does, uh, what he's done for our program. He blocked that one with his elbow. Yeah, he was. Uh, his defense was amazing. His body transformed, and uh, the the guns that he had uh, just shows. Yeah. yeah, this shows this work ethic uh, throughout. When we come back, we talk about the ladies because they had a heck of a week. Also, that's next on Transy Basketball. This past week, the Lady Pioneers had to win to get a home game in the Heartland Conference Tournament, meaning a win against Manchester last weekend was necessary. Let's go to the highlights and show you what happened. Sean Kalani, one of the rare misses in this first half. Allie Moreland gets the rebound and the putback. Kalani dominated the game early, and uh, she's going to get the drive off the window for two. She scores on the right side. She goes to the left side, and she's going to have a tough cross-court pass to Moreland for three more. Allie scored all her points early on, the senior out of Indianapolis, and then Kalani letting it fly from Los Angeles. The LA. City of Angels. L.A., baby. The three is good, and I did mention she took over the first 15 minutes. She had 19 in the game, 13 points in the first half, another senior getting in on the act. And the odds were great. If we're going horse racing here, the odds were great that Lindsey Hieronymus would get a bucket on senior day, the drive along the baseline, probably three to one odds. She brought her dog to, to senior day. Did you see that? I that saw was awesome. that. I saw she that. And we that also have to have buckets from the all-time leading scorer in women's uh, history at Transy, Caitlin Smith, the high shot off the glass. And then she has just turned into an excellent post player, getting two more. She had 19 on senior day as the Pioneers win it on senior day, 84 to 74. And she's now just about 20, 24, 24 away, from, away 2000. from 2000. We hope she gets it. When we come back, our final flashback of this transy basketball season.
We hope you've enjoyed the Transy flashbacks this year. I love history, especially sports history. And to know where you're going, you must first learn from whence you came. And the understatement of the year is to say the Lane family has been instrumental in Transy basketball history. When Don Lane took over the Transylvania basketball program, Gerald Ford was in the White House and John Wooden had just retired after winning his 10th national championship. Lane picked up where his two predecessors, Lee Rose and C.M. Newton, had left off. The 1975-76 season was the beginning of 26 years at the helm of the Pioneers for Lane. In that span, you'll find just one losing season and a record of 509 wins against 240 losses and an academic record equally as sparkling. Of the 95 four-year players Lane has had on his teams, 90 have graduated. Beginning in the 89 season, the Pioneers won 20 or more games for nine consecutive seasons, and Lane ends his tenure with 19 straight winning seasons. 22 All-Americans, including his son Brian, have worn the Harvard Crimson and White for TU, and when they looked to the bench, they saw more than one familiar face. They saw two. The second, Ron Whitson, a top 10 scorer in Pioneers history, has been Lane's assistant every season he's been with Transy, and he'll walk into the sunset with Lane, retiring after 27 years of service to the school. One of Lane's biggest honors came in 97, when he was inducted to the NAIA Hall of Fame. But perhaps he will remember this season the most led by seven seniors who didn't have a home court to play or practice on all year because of construction of a new facility, gave Lane his most successful season ever. The Pioneers lost their first game of the year, six games into it, and did not lose again. 26-1, the Pioneers rolled through the regular season, avenging their only loss to Georgetown with Lane's 500th victory at Transy and gained the school's first ever number one ranking in any sport. The Pioneers entered the national tournament with top billing, but were upset in the second round by Christian Heritage. Topping it off, though, were two awards never before awarded to anyone from Transy. Collier Mills was named Player of the Year, and Don Lane, in his final season, was recognized as NAIA Coach of the Year. Next year, the tools Lane has used for a quarter century would have been different. No athletic scholarships can be granted because of the switch to Division III. And as far as coaching in the new Beck Center, it wasn't a priority to the man who called McAllister Auditorium his old Kentucky home for 25 of his 26 years at Transylvania. 67 days after his father's retirement, Brian Lane was hired as the seventh coach in Transy history. <laughs> I'm a product of Transylvania University and Lexington and, and all the great things that, that this, uh, this city and this university has to offer. Uh, what a tremendous experience I had, and I'm going to be able to share that. And uh, hopefully our best recruiters are our, our former players and, and current players. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's no question that, that uh, and, and Transylvania alums. Transy would go through a rebuilding process and would leave the NAIA and move to Division Three non-scholarship basketball. There's no move or de-emphasis in, in athletics. I mean, we uh, it may be a little slight uh, phil philosophical change, and uh, shoot, I'm excited about the prospects of being able to show mom and dad and, and families uh, not only uh, Transylvania education uh, is worth it, but a chance to, to play basketball. And, and really uh, compete at a high level. The thing we were looking for was the fit for this institution. And obviously, Brian grew up here. Um, he knows what we're about. And he also was able to convey an understanding and appreciation of the direction we're going in with D3. Um, but he, as he mentioned, he came to campus for four separate interviews, um, each time spending up to a day here. So he spent a lot of time with all of us. And that's wow. the way it was, May 31st, 2001. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the flashbacks this year. I know I have. And as we finish up our final minute of the Transy Basketball Show this year, it's been a lot of fun. Well, it takes an enormous amount of time to do what you've done, and all of us really appreciate uh, the fact that, that you pour your heart and soul into this program because uh, we, we know that it, it uh, takes a an enormous amount of time. So thank you for what you've done for, for Transylvania basketball. It's an exciting time, uh, great university, and a, and a great group of guys that I've been able to coach. And uh, just, just really look forward to uh, what the future holds. The future is exciting. The Pioneers are in this year's uh, Heartland Conference Tournament this weekend. And uh, we've got about 30 seconds to go. What does the future look like for next year? We, we got a lot of minutes from, from young guys uh, this year, so uh, recruiting is going well. We have some key, 
key spots that we have to fill from uh, on the recruiting trail. So uh, we, we mesh those together and, and you're going to see some exciting times ahead. We hope you've enjoyed this year's Transy Basketball Show for Rob Pollock, who punches all the buttons and makes us look better than what we are. We say thank you to him and thank you to you for watching. We will see you next year. Thank you.